we have seen the five concepts regarding the odd numbers now using those five concepts we will solve question uh, model number one type of questions the first model which is for example i will give a question what is the day of the week on 26th january 1950 what is the day so in solving this type of questions the first step is try to find the nearest the immediate before the nearest previous century so step 1 find the previous or find the immediate previous century so the year which is asked is 1950 so the immediate previous century will be 1900 first identify this then step 2 what are the number of odd days at the end of 1900 this is the step 2 we have found out the nearest previous the immediate previous century which is 1900 now what is the number of odd days so up to 1900 the number of odd days will be 1 1 odd day how did we get this we know that for 100 there will be 5 odd days for 200 there will be 3 odd days for 300 there will be 4 odd days and for 400 which is a leap century there will be 0 odd days continuing if you calculate from then on from 1700 will have 5 odd days to 1800 will have 3 odd days and 1900 will have one odd day so 19 up to 1900 there will be one odd day that is step 2 in step 3 what we have to do is step number 3 you have to find out the number of years between the the, the century which we have found out and the previous year of the given year the given year is 1950 the previous year to 1950 will be 1949 so how many years are there between 1900 and 1949 there are 49 years why we are calculating the number of years because we have to find out the odd days we up to 1900 we have already found out the odd days which is one odd day so from 1900 to 1949 how many odd days are there so in order to find the odd days from 1900 to 1949 we are, what we are doing in step 3 is from 1900 to 1949 there are 49 years so among these 49 years one the three fourth will be normal years and one fourth will be leap years so we know that in a normal year there will be one odd day so 49 plus in a leap year there will be two odd days so we are calculating the additional odd day in case of leap years by doing by dividing 49 by 4 so in 49 years how many leap years will be there 49 by 4 leap years will be there so we are what we are doing is we are adding 49 and to this we are to 49 we are adding 49 by 4 this gives you you need not exactly have the value of 49 by 4 because we need to find only the leap years so 49 plus 12 gives us 61 this will be the number of odd days i will explain this little clearly so we have to find out the number of odd days from 1900 to 1949 there are 49 years from 1900 to 1949 of them some are normal and some are leap years so first let us calculate how many leap years are there 49 divided by 4 once so there are 12 leap years 12 leap years so how many are normal years normal years will be 49 minus 12 that is 
normal years so now as we have to find the number of odd days for in normal year that will be one odd day so there are 37 normal years so there will be 37 odd days plus there are 12 leap years so there are two odd days in a leap year that will be 12 into 2 that gives 37 plus 24 which is 61 so in order i mean in spite of doing all these calculations what we can simply do is find the difference between the the nearest century and the previous year to the year we have to find that is 1950 is the uh, year in which we have to find the day so the pre the uh, previous year is 1949 so find the difference and to that add 49 by 2 49 plus 49 by sorry not 49 by 2 49 by 4 49 plus 49 by 4 gives us 49 plus 12 which is equal to 61 odd days that is step number 3 so what what we have done so far in step 1 we have found out the nearest the immediate previous century it is which is 1900 in step 2 we have found out how many odd days are there up to 1900 that will be one odd day we can know this from uh, the previous lecture the concept which i have already explained in step number 3 what we have did is find out the odd days from 1900 to 1949 1949 is the previous year of the year which we have to find the date so from 1900 to 1949 there are 49 years but what we need actually is the number of odd days so in order to calculate the number of odd days in the 49 years because some years will be normal years and some will be leap years what we did is we added 49 by 4 to 49 which gives us 61 odd days this is the alternative method so finally we got that there are 61 odd days up to 1949 now in step number 4 what we will do is up to 1949 we have calculated up to 1900 there are one day and up to 1949 there are 61 odd days so in step for what we will do is find the number of days in 1950 in 1950 we have to find only up to january 26th so up to 26th january so how many days are there 26 days are there now in step number 5 we will add all the odd days how many odd days did we get in step number two one odd day that is up to 1900 how many odd days did we get in step number three 61 odd days how many odd days did we get in step number four 26 odd days adding all these three we get 88 61 plus 162 plus 26 gives 88 so in total what we get is 88 odd days now let's go to step number six in the sixth step we will divide the total number of odd days that is 88 by the number of days in a week that is seven so dividing it but here we are interested in the remainder seven once seven eighteen seven twos fourteen the, the remainder is 4 so finally the final odd day final odd days left is 4 this is what we get in step number 6 final odd days in final odd days left after dividing the total number of odd days by the number of days in a week that is 88 divided by 7 will give the remainder of 4 now in step number 7 the final step what we have to do is we know that if the odd days is 1 then it will be Monday 2 Tuesday 3 Wednesday 4 Thursday 5 Friday 6 Saturday 0 will be Sunday now we got 4 so identify this from this uh, table and as we got 4 as the reminder there are 4 odd days finally so the day will be Thursday 
so uh, the final answer is the day on 26th january 1950 is thursday you can even check the calendar of 1950 online you will have it as thursday so this is how we solve the problems in model number 1 if this type of question is asked in mains group 1 mains please write down in detail using all these steps then only you will get full marks if it is asked in prelims you can do it as a rough work and get the answer but in case of mains please write down all the steps which i have shown in this lecture again i am uh, revising it as a conclusion what is the date of what is the day of the week on 26th january 1950 is the question this is the model number 1 in calendars we have already seen five concepts regarding odd numbers and we will be using all those five concepts in solving the first model the first step is find the immediate previous century we are asked about the year 1950 so the immediate previous century is 1900 we know that in step 2 we know that up to 1900 there are one odd days because in the concepts we have seen up to up to 1700 there will be five odd days up to 1800 there will be three odd days up to 900 1900 there will be one day odd day and up to 2000 which is an leap century there will be zero odd day so in this problem we have uh, 1900 as the immediate previous century to the given year so up to 1900 there will be one odd day in step 3 we will be calculating the number of years between 1900 which is the previous immediate uh, immediate previous century to the previous year of the given year up to 1949 1900 to 1949 there are 49 years now we have to find out the number of odd days in 49 years so for this what we will do is we will as we know in among those 49 years 3 fourth will be normal years and 1 fourth will be leap years so for to account for the additional day in the leap year we are adding 49 by 4 to 49 and this gives us 61 odd days alternatively without using that thing you can find out how many leap years are there and how many normal years are there there will be 12 leap year, 12 leap years and 37 normal years and we will add 37 odd days for the 37 normal years and 12 into 2 24 odd days for the 12 leap years even in this method we will get the same 61 odd days for the 49 years between 1900 and 1949 in step 4 we will count the number of days in 1950 as as in the question the date which we have to find the day for is 26 january there are 26 days for example if the date is asked if the date for which it is asked is uh march 1st march 14th 14th march then the number of odd days in 1950 will be 31 in january plus 28 in february because it is not a leap year and then 14 in march okay this is the way you have to uh, do and the date for which we have to find is also included in the number of days as similarly here 26th january is the date for which we have to find the day this is also included in the number of days so this is how you have to do in the step 4 while counting the number of days in the given year then in step 5 we have to add all the odd days we have got in step 2 we got one odd day in step 3 we got 61 odd days and in step 4 we got 26 odd days adding all the all of them gives us 88 and in step 6 we divide it the total number of odd days by the number of days in a week that is 88 by 7 and here we are interested in the remainder which is the final odd days so dividing 88 by 7 uh, we get a remainder of 4 which is the final odd day and finally in step 7 we equate the final number of odd day with the day of the week that is as we have got 4 odd days the day of the week will be thursday hence forth 26 january 1950 is thursday this is how you have to solve model number 1 in the next lecture we will see about model number 2 and 3